guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I picked up for my A6 planner. I'm gonna be setting up more of a personal life goal planner um, and I'm so excited about it. So I just wanted to share with you guys what I got so far. Um, the planner has not shipped yet. It's a custom planner. Um, so I'm really excited to share it with you guys once I receive it, hopefully in the next few weeks. But before I show you guys what I got, I just wanted to quickly thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Video. If you haven't heard me talk about Skillshare yet, it's an online learning community. It's an awesome platform. They have thousands of classes where you can learn new things and broaden your skill set. So there's tons of different genres. So there's something for everyone if you're into film and video, graphic design, if you're a shop owner, they have like illustration, web development, business analytics, marketing, so many different things. They also have lifestyle and productivity. So the one that I've been taking is called Create of breakthrough. This class has really helped me. It gives you eight exercises to power your creativity, confidence, and career, which is awesome. So the first 1,000 people to sign up with the link down below will get two free months of premium membership. And when you're browsing classes, you can read reviews, you can see discussions about each of the classes to see what classes will be best for you. Definitely check out Skillshare and take advantage of that two free months of premium membership. But let's get into today's video. Okay, so I got a few things for this planner and I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be kind of a personal goal planner that is a little less like task focused and more focused on creativity and goals and dreams and things like that. Because my GM system right now is pretty much turned into a professional planner. So it just has like my workload and I probably won't write in this every single day. Um, but it's something that I want to keep up with at least once or twice a week, write in some goals and actually put in steps to accomplishing those goals. So, so far I only purchased a few things. Um, I got all of this stuff from Cloth and Paper, which is going to be the bulk of my planner. I also got some inserts and a dashboard from Elemon Paper Co. And then I still have some things that I recently ordered coming from Infinite Lotus. So starting with Elemon Paper Co, I just got a couple of things. So she included a couple freebie cards and I got my favorite inserts of hers and I got a little dashboard. So I picked up this dashboard. I just thought it was really fitting for the planner and I really liked the design of it and everything. So I thought this would be a nice addition. And then I grabbed some of my favorite inserts from Elemon Paper Co, which are the week on four page categorized inserts. And I've talked about these so many times in my GM system, but I also thought it would be helpful to have one in my A6 size. And I got some of her new insert designs, which are absolutely gorgeous, but these inserts have a week on four page and they're categorized. So I usually have schedule, work, branding, and my personal list, um, just so I can kind of separate things out and plan them a little bit more in depth. Every year I update my five year plan, which I keep in like a private journal, um, but I thought it would be nice to actually start planning those into my weekly spread. So that's what I'm gonna be using these four. I'll probably split them up between like my four main categories, which are usually just like personal things, finance, career, and health and lifestyle. And then I got a bunch of different things from cloth and paper, which is probably gonna make up like the majority of my planner. But for now, I just got a couple of dashboards. Um, this was one of my favorite dashboards. I just really like the light creamy color. Um, and the theme that I'm kind of going Going for for this planner is just really light and bright and clean so I love this dashboard so I picked up one in a six size and, and I also grabbed one of these inbox dashboards um, just so I could do some inbox planning in this planner as well and then so far I got three different sets of inserts so I got the yearly goal inserts for my 2021 goals and then I also got some of these task inserts which are really nice to just have on hand um, for listing or anything else and then I grabbed some of these A6 size monthly inserts from Cloth and & Paper and they just came out with their 2021 inserts. So I'll probably just finish out the year with these and then stock up on some more of their inserts for next year. And then I also got a set of top tab monthly dividers in gold foil, which are just so pretty. I just think they'll look really nice. And I wanna section everything out by month. And I usually don't do that in my planners. I just kind of like lump all my planner inserts together. What I wanna do for this planner is really section them out by month and have specific goals to accomplish each month to keep me on the right track. And then I also just thought I would stock up on some more sticky notes from Cloth and Paper. So they kind of redesigned some of their sticky notes. So I got the to-do, memo, and urgent sticky notes. And then I also got an extra one of these dirty chai sticky notes. 
And then of course I had to pick up some more page flags. I'm obsessed with page flags. I just thought these were so pretty and light so they kind of match my setup. So I'll probably end up making some task flags out of these but I just thought they were really nice colors to complement the planner. And finally, before I go, some of you guys may have seen my Instagram stories. I did pick up a Giulio planner. It's just kind of like an impulse buy, but I do use a pocket planner to just keep like reference info and like passwords and things like that. Right now I'm using my Louis Vuitton PM for that, um, but I really just liked the way that this planner looked. So I'm gonna show it to you guys real quick. So I got the matte charcoal pocket size Campania. So I really got this just to house some of my like reference info so I can take it on the go with me. But now that I have it, it's just so beautiful. I kind of want to try to incorporate it into my planning system a little bit more. So I'll update you guys on that too. Um, if you guys want to see like a full, I don't know, like review unboxing of this, let me know. I can do that too. I just figured that you guys have probably seen this before. Um, but I did get the gold rings and it looks absolutely stunning. So I'm really happy with it. But that's about it for today. I just wanted to kind of update you guys on where I am with my planners. Hopefully these will be a little bit more open um, and more goal oriented. But if you have any questions or anything, just leave those down in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!